Okay, um, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3. I decided to re-record part of this. I had another section of this because, um, somebody told me that I, uh, didn't register, uh, Pale Rider. Um, and that's true, I, I did forget to register Pale Rider, but when you fuse something, it puts the basic one into your, uh, compendium anyway. I was just putting the upgraded version in because... If there's something that um, gets a better skill that you really want, like a growth or an invigorate or, or something like that, um, you really want to. Uh, I don't want any of those. You really want to get those in when they have those skills. So if you want to use those skills for something else, you can pull them out and fuse them in. Um, the personas are cheaper when they're their lowest level, most basic version, but I don't think it's worth it to do that. So. Always have the the highest level version you have because it's the costs don't rise a whole lot as they go up in level. It's mostly the base level that matters. So, um, relatively speaking, of course. So let's get going with our uh, vacation, I guess. Well, not today. Today we have a free day to do stuff, and what do we normally do on Sundays? Well, yeah, we do our. Our stuff with the online thing. But first, let's go talk to Tanaka on the television. Oh, but we haven't had an opportunity to get a, something delivered to us, so it is delivered here. I'm getting max safety shoes. Um, these actually are not very good, which we'll see in a minute. It's Tanaka. But here, um, we get one of the better items that we can get this early in the game. Um, and it is the Mage's Mark, which is like the Land Badge, only it works for SP, which is much more valuable because you can convert SP into health. Um, I mean, the uh, in the Invigorate skill, which is what the effect is, uh, gives you a percentage of your, your, HP, or your SP back every turn. And that's why we <clears throat> wanted to leave with extra money, so... This will probably be on somebody... Um, throughout the whole game. You can get them from gold chests later. Um, and you can get, I think, an upgraded one as a reward for a request. But this is the earliest you can get one. And I believe the earliest you can get the invigorate effect without grinding a whole lot. So, it's well worth buying. Right. So we have the Naga. I uh, was really lucky. I didn't have to spend half an hour grinding to get that back out. Let's just go and get this over with. I wonder what she's doing. Apparently typing to herself. People usually type to themselves in MMOs. It's like sitting in a corner, typing to themselves. You are lame. <laughs> Okay, we could ask, are you talking to yourself? But what we want to say is, hurry up and tell me. Because we need our mind Pokemons. Better. Ah. Okay. Oh. Um. That's not cool. Is that the thing they're allowed to do in Japan? Get, that doesn't excuse it. Weird. Uh huh. I was supposed to ask, what is he like? Sure. Yes? Oh well, I mean, it's bad. Oh, that's even worse. No, now see, you're just admitting it, abusing your power and stuff. Jesus. Whatever. Oh. Creepy teacher likes us more now. So we get a level of the Hermit Social Inc. Again, I think this is level 8. So we're getting close to the end of this 
creepy, uncomfortable social link. Hopefully this is the end of horrible revelations coming from it. It can't get much worse, right? Okay, I'm just ignore that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mike's gotta be a common name in Japan, right? Yep. Just gonna pretend I didn't see that. I mean, it's an it could be a could be a Japanese name, right? I don't really know the rules of Japanese names. It's just... No enthusiasm, man. I think they'd be excited for vacations. Whoa, nice house. Or <laughs> Greek temple. <laughs> wow. It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Yep. Hey, look, the help. Welcome back, my lady. That's not creepy. And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Sweet. Please follow me. Which one is we following? Are we following? Um, is this the right place? You said it was the Kirijo Vacation Home. Isn't that where we were going? Dude, real life maids. Yeah, there's those in hotels and stuff. I knew she was from an important family. But this definitely confirms it. I guess. What needed proving, though? Hmm. Impressive looking gentleman. <laughs> it's good to see you. Is that her dad or something? Was that? Her father? Yep, I guess it was. Dude, talk about scary. <laughs> He's not gonna make us walk the plank. Is he? <laughs> yeah, that's not rude or anything. Don't be stupid. Hey, Junpei can't help it. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Except Junpei. He'll mess up the place and throw everything on the floor. Sweet. This is gonna rock. I don't think they don't mention anything about Junpei's family. Hey, you want to go to the beach? It's right there. Not that I remember anyway. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Straight to the beach. <laughs> then I'll see you there. I'm not going to waste a single minute. Here we go. So as you can imagine, this is just going to be a long, basically a series of cutscenes and dialogues. Uh, got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. I mean, theoretically, there could be fights and stuff, but there isn't. I'm just going to tell you that right away. Yep, summer's here. It's been here for a while, like more than a month, almost a month. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Oh. Yeah. Well. Why are you wearing a shirt, boxing champ? You embarrassed about something? Maybe he's just afraid to get sunburned. I guess that could be a reason. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Um. I don't know. Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's what? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's 
she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. Speaking of bold, Junpei just saying things like that to her face. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. You think she'd get mad like she usually does? Is that umbrella taken? Does it look like it? Next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so. I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. <laughs> huh? Oh. Way to be creepy, Junpei. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I guess that's to be expected of a teenage boy, though. <laughs> Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. <laughs> uh. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Doesn't look like a very practical swimsuit with like a skirt and a flower on it. Wow, Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Just going in the fan service direction here. Yeah, you're. Skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? Looks like it. No, not yet. I mean, it looks like it's going in a fan service direction, not the sunscreen thing. So, which one's your type? Oh, considering the social link thing, we're basically going to be going after all of them. Doesn't really matter which one we pick. Aha! Just as I thought. Trevor, dude. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? Yep, seems like a good idea. That's why we're here. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Charge! Uh oh. Looks like somebody's spying on me. Or us, I guess. <laughs> At least Junpei's ignore, uh, enjoying himself. Ignoring himself. What the hell? So this is the beach. You can tell there's no music here. Yep, he's splashing you. <laughs> Gotta splash more water on you. She's splashing him back. I don't know. <laughs> because we invited him? Oh, I didn't want to talk to you again. I wanted to talk to Junpei. I did it again, crap. Alright, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure what she's talking about there, but... It's a nice place. Now, there are two exits here. Uh, as you can see, there's really nobody else on the beach. It's just some rocks and driftwood and invisible plot walls. Like here. Of course not. There's not really anything we can do here, though. Um, if we talk to uh, Akihiko here, the other exit is over here. And there's like up here down here, but there's nothing on it in a boot. Um, if we talk to Akihiko, we can save and we can leave. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good to relax. I mean, we can just, like, hang out. There's no reason to do it. There's nothing else to do here. We talk to everybody. And they don't say anything different, so let's go back. Yep. Whatever, dude. Oh, it's like exposition time. It's been a while. Since you've seen your dad? I guess he's busy. I'm glad that you're in good health. Yep. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. It's 
Logan. I heard you told them about the incident. Uh oh. Why did you hide it so long? Oh, <laughs> I guess he was okay with that. I wasn't hiding it. Yeah, you were. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. If you remember, that motto was on, like, those swords or whatever in the school. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Like football. Yes, father. Can't play football by yourself. You accessed our database, didn't you? Getting in more trouble. That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? Well, I, I guess... I guess he's cool with that, too. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> the tour is not very good at this. Bring them here. All of them. I mean... He's funding this, isn't he? I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. It would be reasonable to think that they would be... There's a girl named Takaba in your group, uh, correct? He, uh, he would be okay with people knowing stuff, because it would help us do it. Uh, or solve the problem or whatever. For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. I don't know. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. As it were. It looks like... Is that supposed to be a window, or is that really just a picture of the beach we were just at? Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. Adults are assholes. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. Okay. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. Sweet. That's what he was trying to do? Trying to create uh, 1.21 gigawatts. Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. I'm sure everyone understands the implication of time machines. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. Pretty much. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. Okay. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Whoa, <laughs> so he wants to destroy the world? Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. Maybe. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Movie time. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. It's mostly of a big explosion. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. Oh, uh, okay. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. Huh. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. It seems like a good trade-off. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. So it's basically this is, you know. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. 
<laughs> okay. <gasps> Seems like he did it for a good reason, though. I mean, the blowy uppy part. Dad? Oh, it's her dad. You mean that was. The letter she was reading earlier was in that voice anyway, so you may have already guessed that. Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. Uh, I guess so. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, it seems like he caused the explosion, so maybe he's to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... My dad caused it all? Hey, but he was trying to save the world. The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? Well, yeah, but, I mean... It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? <laughs> Evidently not. So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? Oh, now she's getting mad. No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Um, shouldn't someone go after her? I wonder who they're gonna send after her. <sighs> Will you go? Um... Why me? I doubt she'd listen to me. Nope. Yep. Could have sent, um, somebody else. She's been hanging out with uh, Fuka for a while. What's up? I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? Vaguely. How my dad died when I was little? Mm-hmm. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Ah, well, yeah, that's obvious. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. That's not cool. We even had to move a few times. Hmm. That must have been tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. Well, I mean, he was your dad. That's natural. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. Remember, we saw her reading that. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. Yeah, one dude thought it was too. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. And you did. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. Oh, so she had ulterior motives. Maybe that was why she was worried about people being pressured into it. But it turns out... All of that was for nothing. Hey, wait a minute. You did find out why. Oh. That's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. I just said it because it's not true. Why does reality have to be so harsh? Hey, life's a bitch and then you die. I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. Oh. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. Maybe. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> because your father was closer to the explosion. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Um... Uh, that's how people are, man. Huh. Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. <laughs> she says that no matter what you say. Nothing ever phases you. And, uh, well... I mean, considering my my insanity and all that, t people talking to me in my head, um, 
just kind of have to go with the flow or, or, you know. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? No matter what you say there, she gets mad at you, so. You think you know me? Um, not really. You don't know anything. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My head's a mess. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. You get fight shadows. Tell me. What should I do? Why are you asking me? Uh, stay with us and fight. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, man. You know, you really are one of a kind. Protagonist style. Uh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. Yep, both of them. But... I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? Yep. Oh, we could say this, too. Let's say that. Embarrass her. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> well, okay. Thanks. Let's give her a hug. <laughs> hey! Doesn't really matter what you do there, so. Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. <laughs> you ran right the whole way. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Yep. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hmm? Um, did I miss something? <laughs> Everything. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Seems like a beach would be a pretty safe place during the dark hour. There's nobody here. Well, duh. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. Mm hmm It's like trading away your innocence. And like a twelfth of your lifetime. Well, not a twelfth, like a twenty-fourth of your lifetime. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. Yeah, I guess so. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. Yep. Now that that's settled, let's get back. You see, it's not really established what happens, like, physiologically during the dark hour, so... I mean, everybody is, uh, you know, alive during it, but they're just not active, so... It may not uh, change anything at all. Let's just give it a day. As you can see, I got... Couple more days. <sighs> the air is so fresh. I wonder what part of Japan Yakushima is in. I assume the southern part. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Haha. <laughs> How many woods in Japan? Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. Punch him. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? They're not even paying attention to her, man. Oh, yeah. That's rude. Mitsuru speaking. Uh, Mitsuru, we have a slight problem. Uh oh. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. Is a lab? 
and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. Wait, maybe the lab on the island we live on. A machine? The one the school's on or something. What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. Of course, maybe this is an island. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. Huh. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? Dude! We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Gotta go find that tank. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? Yeah. <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. Uh... Okay. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Magnets. Just do your best. I'll call you again later. <laughs> Some casualties are acceptable. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Everybody's probably in the ocean. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Probably at the beach. So this kind of proves the uh, fact that they can use their personas outside of the dark hour. <laughs>